This is Berkhamsted School, one of the oldest private schools in the country. Students generally move on from here to go to top universities. Schools such as Berkhamsted are renowned for producing future leaders as well as skilled all-rounders. Students spend vast amounts of time at school engaging in academic, sporting and cultural pursuits. So how do they feel about their representation at school and at home? Well, I act a lot differently. I have respect for my parents. I'm not saying I don't have respect <laughs> for my friends, but I act a lot differently around my parents and my friends because I, you know, I can't really have fun with my parents. How separate would you say your home and school lives are? Uh, you would like to answer? <laughs> <laughs> um, pretty separate, but obviously they are linked as well. Well, I think like what happens outside school definitely influences inside school. I say like you act differently in different situations, and school is one of those situations, isn't it? Like I might say something outside school which I wouldn't say inside school because it's school. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Does that absolutely. make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's the same with like everything. Though, yeah, exactly. It? That's yeah. not my point. So you could say it about everything. I think it's vital for everybody to have a private life. I was reminded of this over the half-term break where I uh, went away and deliberately left my, my school mobile phone at home. Um, I didn't take a laptop and I was completely offline and uncontactable. And when I came back and opened up my email boxes, there were dozens and dozens of emails from people saying, I, I emailed you, why, why didn't you get back in, in contact? Or I sent you a text or, or I left you a voicemail message. And I think that there is an as assumption that all of us are expected to be available 24-7, but that's not healthy. More and more students today have Facebook accounts or other online profiles that allow them to share their photos and private lives with each other, or perhaps accidentally with their teachers. Things like this have the potential to become greater problems down the line. Do you think about how it could affect you in the future? No, but um, people say you should because apparently employers are now looking at your Facebook when you apply for a job, but I don't really think about that at all. For students, the way that they present themselves and how that's going to be seen in the future when you're not in your teens but in your 20s or your 30s or beyond is important. It's what's called a digital footprint. If I know that they can see what I've been doing at weekend, then I know that they're, they're thinking and probably judging me, good or bad. I don't want them judging me. Judgment aside, adding someone like a teacher on Facebook can have serious repercussions, even in the short term. I did accept a teacher once. Um, um, yeah, it didn't go very well. Can you tell us what happened? Um, I basically uh, said that I was, I was ill one day and then I said that I was doing my coursework to one of my friends and because he was a teacher of that coursework he saw that I had done my coursework during that day and he accused me of not being ill in Skyrim. Do I as a teacher want to be seeing all the details of your parties and the photographs and what you're doing? What I've personally found is that when Students write inappropriate material on their Facebook walls, for example. I will send them a private email saying, I, I wouldn't want to see that if I was a university admissions tutor. If I was looking to recruit you into the workplace, I wouldn't want to think that that's the sort of content you think is acceptable. And so in that sense, I'm trying to do quite a positive uh, process of feedback. As a, as a parent um, of a Year 7 student, I'm not really happy with the idea of her having a Facebook account. I'm trying as much as possible to dissuade her from getting into that. If she was to have a Facebook account, then I would definitely set one up just so that I can monitor what's going on. Okay. So as students enter a world seemingly without privacy, the issue of what to place online is set to dominate the social landscape.